the biggest innovations of this board is the suspension system. So basically how it works is uh, if you look over here, whoops, you've got a, um, a pivot shaft that goes through here and this whole part of the board is like a swing arm. So it's pretty much like a, what you'd see on the back of a motorcycle, like a rear swing arm. Right. And what that does is it allows the, this part to pivot up and down but it cannot twist or it can't move in any other way. So it's locked in this axis and that means that your steering inputs are not affected by the suspension. So gotcha. it's just there to absorb shocks and take the edge off the bumps, but it's not so much so that it's actually absorbing your steering inputs. Right. Do we have this uh, disassembled anywhere or can you explain like how the shock absorption works? So you have a urethane bushing in here and that's kind of what gets compressed when you put your weight on it. And uh, is it a unique shape, like not a normal skate bushing? It's, yeah, it's a unique shape. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And it's a unique formula as well. Gotcha. We've been experimenting a lot with the formulas, and that was a big part of the development of this. Okay. Um, and Sweet. the shape as well. And, and yeah, the, it's the a pretty leverage unique ratios. shape here. Yeah. Um, I can show you how it works. So Yeah, that'd be sweet. If you come over here. So we got the XP5 here. And if you can see this it in here. Is, I might put it in the sun. Yeah, let's see Maybe if we not. can get it's in the shadow. It's probably better. When I stand on it, it compresses the bushing. Wow, that looks so cool. And you get suspension. And it's on the front and the rear. But steering is completely unaffected. Yeah, that's uh, certainly a unique aspect. I know there are other suspension boards out there that. Uh, Utilize suspension that does affect the turn, sort of like uh, I've tried a lot of them. and maybe a stack and some of the other ones, and it's just a completely different field than something that is purpose designed to not affect the riding. It's a different feel. Some people like it. Um, I'm personally not one of those people, so I like boards to react very instantly when I do things. And every suspension board I've tried, it's just there's like a good one or two second delay almost before when you turn for it to actually react and come with you. And that delay really um, makes me feel not connected to the board. Yeah. And I even find that riding like LaCroix boards and bigger boards with mountain board trucks. It just feels like I'm standing on a platform and I'm not really connected to the platform. I mean, you do get a bit used to it after a while, but there's just still always a bit of a delay. Like if you need to dodge a pothole or something, you know, you need to prepare your whole body to, to move yeah. with it. Whereas what we've tried to do with this board through the whole design is to make it uh, as, as quick as possible to react to you and kind of just feel like it's an extension of your body, you know, just minimize any lag.